Hey design fans, this is Kara and Gotti, KO and Gotti. We are a woman-owned interior design and energy audit firm based in Philadelphia. And at KO and Gotti, we strongly believe in supporting our local economy by working with artisans such as Jen. Jen is here at York Wall Coverings. She is one of their uh, senior design assistants, specialists, I should say. And um, Jen's going to take us through a couple of pieces that she's working on. It's really interesting how they use old. Um, archival pieces to create new collections so that there's still a throwback but they revisit it and make it a little bit more um, current for your home as well as commercial spaces. So Jen, if you could tell us about this piece that you have reworked and how you found the archival piece and you're reworking it into something else. Yep. So pretty much we have an extensive archival department here at York Wall that consists of a lot of archival fabrics, archival wall coverings, paintings. This is a French painting that we've had um, in our archives. As you can see, it's not a pattern. It's not in repeat. It's just something that we thought was really beautiful. We really liked the hand. So it was up to me, working with the stylist, um, to then take this and, while still maintaining the integrity and the original hand of the artist, clip out some of the bouquets and different leaves to create sort of an overall pattern that still has this feel, but is something that we can actually reproduce here on press. So to keep with that vintage antique look that we love so much about the original, we added a metallic crackle just to sort of just stress it a little bit, antique it a little bit, um, just so it has that archival feel. But yeah, it's a little bit more modern. This is a residential application? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, the next piece that you have next to you, you showed me before. And what time do you think that this was released? How many years ago do you think? This pattern was probably six years old. Six, so it's okay. expired by now. Mm -hmm. Usually the shelf life on a book is probably around five years. Okay. And then they expire. So this is something that we did, you know, six years ago. It's very tonal, a lot of color, um, a lot of detail, and just, you know, starting to look a little out of date. So we still thought that the layout was really great, the motifs are really great, but that we just need to execute it in a more updated way. Mm -hmm. So we're revisiting it for a completely different print type. This will be surface print, which looks the most like a hand-painted print. It's very tactile. The paint comes on um, sort of uneven, and you get a little bit of natural variation with the printing. So when I have to re yeah. redesign it, I have to reduce the number of colors that are in here to three instead of, I think this had like nine positions in it. So that's what I've done, and I'm sort of reinterpreting it in a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more looser style. It'll be printed in sort of more fun, bright, modern colors rather than like the dusty palette. Yeah. It'll be sort of, from my perspective, I think it really looks like a, a new fresh, younger application, mm -hmm. whereas this, you know, has a little bit more of a mature look to it. Mm -hmm. But I can see this for someone who really likes anthropology, um, urban outfitters, that sort of young thing where they like vintage, um, but with new colors. Yep, and I think that's a really good way to describe it, is that we like to take things that are vintage, that are classical motifs, because you're not going to be quite as risky with wall covering typically as you would be with apparel or right. some uh, even bedding, you know, some other application in home furnishings. So we like our classic paisleys and jacobeans and damask and florals and, and traditional motifs. But I think you can update them a lot with color. You can update them a lot with technique and make them a lot more fun, but still livable and still yep. something that's not so trendy that you're gonna, you know, be sick of it in a year. That's so. true. <laughs> Well, thanks, Jen. This has yep. been a lot of fun. Yep. And York Wall Covering does both residential, children's, um, licensed work, so Disney, NCAA, boys, girls, and also commercial. So the next time you're looking at a project, come check out York Wall Covering at yorkwall.net.com. So. <laughs> thanks a lot, and we'll see you at the next video blog.